What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using a generation one favorite. We got ourselves a Gengar team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Gengar, this Pokemon is a glass cannon, meaning it can hit like an absolute truck, but it can't really take a lot of shots, which is why we're rocking Focus Ash to give this thing as many turns as it possibly can. Gengar is also rocking Curse Body as ability with that Dark Terror type. Rocking Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball, Will O Wisp, and Protect for its moveset, which I absolutely love. We got two stab moves, we got Will O Wisp, Burn Physical Attackers, and obviously Protect, just a top tier move within doubles. Our restricted Pokemon on today's team going to be Kyogre, Drizzle, Mystic Water, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Water Spout, Protect. You guys have seen this Pokemon plenty of times before. Our final four Pokemon consists of Incineroar, Rillaboom, Thunderous, and guess who? Hisuian and Avalug. Really dope off-meta Pokemon on this team. Gonna be a nice bulky Pokemon that can use Body Press, Ice Spinner to take out Terrain, Wide Guard, and Rock Slide. I actually really do like this Pokemon. A lot of variety on this team. Guys, you wanna run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing this Gengar team. Would you look at this? Going up against another Generation 1 favorite, we got ourselves Charizard versus Gengar in match number one. And on top of that, we got Groudon versus Kyogre. So really dope team right here that we're going up against. They also have Shen Pao, Rock Ogre Pond, Raging Bolt, and last but not least, they have Whimscott. So our only form of speed control on this team is going to be our Thunderous with Scary Face, which isn't bad. I mean, we got Eerie Impulse for the special attack as well. So we could honestly lead that if we wanted to. Do I want to lead it? Maybe. They don't have any fake out users, which is good news for us. I could just go into Kyogre. I could go into our Intimidate user. I feel like we have a few different options here. I mean, Groudon's going to be annoying due to probably clear amulet. That's something I do want to watch out for. But I could go into Gengar here. Gengar isn't bad. Very fast Pokemon. I mean, if I could get some burns off, that could just be great. That could really just be good for us. So maybe do I want to go into Gengar? I kind of do. They could go into Whimscott, and then at that point, we can go for fake out takeout. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to go Incineroar. I think we're going to go Gengar for the lead. We're going to bring Kyogre in the back end. And last but not least, we could go Hisumi and Avalug. I mean, it's an Ice-type Pokemon, which is kind of tough. So I think I'm just going to go in with Thunderous. Thunderous, not bad. I like it. So that's what we're going to do here. Gengar, Incineroar for the lead. Hoping to just pop like a Sludge Bomb. Hopefully, Whimscott is the lead, which I think it would be. And hopefully, it's just going to go for Tamil. Because, I, again, I would love to just go for Fake Out, Take Out. But it could it could be uh, Cover Cloak. Could be a little bit of a problem. Could definitely be a little bit of an issue. Let's see who they end up leading here. Let's, what you got here? What you got? Ogre Pond and Shen Pao. So Shen Pao could terrestrialize. It could terrestrialize into... It could terrestrialize into what's it called? Into Ghost, which could be a slight issue. So honestly, I might just fake out... I might just fake out you. You could sucker punch me as well. You could sucker punch me. I could just protect here. Um, hmm. If you are Sucker Punch, I mean, Willow is bypasses that. So let's just go for a burn and let's double down into this Rock Ogre Pond here. I think Shen Pao is either Terrasalizing or Protecting. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to double down to the Rock Ogre Pond. They could both be Protecting. Let's be honest here. Spiky Shield, Protect, Spiky Shield, and Ghost Terror type. Definitely an option. Definitely an option. So let's see what they want to do here. It would be a terrible turn if they attack with Shen Pao and go for Spiky Shield. That could be tough, but th these are two Pokemon that could just protect. But I do like the Intimidate here. The Intimidate was pretty big for us. So we're going to see a Terror type pop out here. I'm guessing this is Shen Pao, correct? Like I said, Ghost Terror type. Yep. Beautiful. Go for Sucker Punch, please, into my Gengar slot. And we're going to be able to fake out and hopefully burn this Ogre Pond. Hopefully burn this Ogre Pond. No, we go for Sacred Sword, which is fine. I mean, we soaked that. We soaked that all day. will o -Wisp does connect. That's massive for Gengar. We still have Focus Ash, which is huge. I mean, Focus Ash definitely going to help us out. So now we have this Ogre Pond kind of on, like, the downside, right? It's burned. It's minus one. We like that. We like that. So this thing might just not even stay in here. It might not even stay in here. Yeah, minus one, and you're minus one. All right, cool. So, from here, I mean, Shadow Ball could be a big fan of ours. We could go into... They could go into Sucker Punch, but I mean, we have Focus Ash, and we should be able to outspeed that Rock Ogre Pond. So, if they want to do that, that's fine. I'm just going to do this, and do I try to double down into this thing? Or do I just hard swap my Incineroar maybe into, like, Thunderous at this point? What is my play here? 
Because I could save Incineroar. Intimidate could come in clutch later. He could come in clutch. I could see you going for another Sacred Sword. I'm going to swap into Thunders here. Nice little Thunders. You could attack my Thunders with an Ivy Cudge, if that is a possibility. But having Incineroar back on the, out on the field later is going to be massive. So I'm just going to swap it. I'm going to swap it. We end up doing that. Throat Chop's going to fly through it. That's fine. Gengar's going to be able to sash up. He should outspeed this Ogre Pine, which is good, good news for us. We should get off some value here. Shadow Ball going to fly. And this should sash you up. So we should go sash for sash, which we do. So sash for sash, I'll take that all day. So you could Sucker Punch me. You could just straight up attack. You already outspeed me, so that's good news. He ends up just doubling down to Gengar, which is no big deal. I feel like Gengar got off a lot of value. We, we pretty much took out Ogre Pine. It's cursed body right now. Can't use Ivy Cudgel. It's minus one and it's burned. Just big time plays for us. I could end up intimidating again. That could be a play for us. And do I do that or do I just bring out you? What's your speed there, little Kyogre? I mean, as much as I want to just terrestrialize this thing. What is my play here? Could save Incineroar. Go back into it. We have a lot of different options here. Plenty of different options. Who is faster? Kyogre, you should be faster than Incineroar, right? Yeah, you are. I'm going to go into Kyogre. I'm going to go into Kyogre because I know this thing's ghost type, but we can still scary face it up. We can still scary face it up. So he's cursed body on Ivy Cudgel. He could attack me with, with a different move. You know what? I'm just going to go Water Spout here. And I'm just going to scary face. And the reason I'm terrestrializing into Dragon is because I don't feel like dealing with the grass move. I really don't feel like dealing with the grass move. I'm gonna do this and I'm just gonna go for a scary face. You could end up hard swapping uh Shen Pao here, but I don't I don't mind this. I don't mind if you hard swap because then we just slow down whatever Pokemon he brings out here. Could be Groudon. You could bring out Groudon. You could bring out Groudon, but we're gonna go into water spout right here right now. A nice little water spout. Alright. Groudon does have clear Emmet. That kind of puts me in a weird position. Right, eat Groudon's in the back end, which it most likely is. It most likely is. And there's going to be the swap of Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond's going to come out here. Groudon's going to fly through here. Hopefully we can outspeed the Shen Pao and still get off this Water Spout. That could be pretty big for us. And then we can go from there. Alright, so we're going to Terrasize into Dragon Typing. That was just in case the Ogre Pond wanted to attack me. And I don't mind having Dragon Typing here. Because if Shen Pao's going to attack... I mean, Shen Pao is probably not going for the Ice Spinner into the Kyogre slot, right? It would go for Ice Spinner into the other slot, or Ice Crash, whatever you want to call it. But we're going to Scary Face. Drop some stats here. Hopefully, Kyogre will outspeed you now, and it does. So, good play on our end right there. We get off some nice damage on the Groudon. We finish off Shen Pao. Okay. So, one thing I wish my Thunders had was Ring Dance. This would be so clutch right now. And I think we're pretty much forced to swap our Kyogre out of here. We are pretty much forced to swap. I wish I saw a Gengar because Burn on Groudon would have been awesome. Let's see who they go into. It's going to be Raging Bolt, which I could just Eerie Impulse down, which I am going to do. Actually, I still like our Terror of this, of this, uh, what is it called? I still like this Terror of Dragon here. So I could swap if I want to. I could stay in here as well. I definitely want to Eerie Impulse you right here. I don't think swapping is going to be play. I think we go into that and then we just go... Eerie Impulse, because what moves does Kyogre have? I mean, you get a Protosynthesis boost, which is okay. You could go for a Dragon move. Honestly, swapping might be our play here. Just so we can have some weather control. I'm going to swap, and then Eerie Impulse. I swap my Thunders. I always do that. Why do I always do that? I might just sold the match by doing that. I might just sold the match by doing that. I always swap the wrong Pokemon. I always swap the wrong Pokemon. A good thing this thing isn't clear ammo. That's actually big time for us. That's actually really good for us. Ice Beam's going to be able to fly here. We're outspeeding both of them. And we almost pick up a KO. I always do that. High horsepower now flies. We're able to soak. And you're going to go for a Thunderbolt. That's fine. Intimidate actually helped us out. Okay. I always do that. It's it's good news that we actually... uh. It's good news that we actually outspeed here. Because I don't have to go for... I could just attack this thing. It's so annoying that, that, that I didn't swap my Kyogre. Because if I swap Kyogre here, Incineroar dies out still due to high horsepower. And I still get off Intimidate and I have Weather Control if I would have actually swapped. So from here, I could go for another Water Spout because I know Water Spout will KO you. Um, 
And I think I am going to do that. I think I am still going to water spout. And I'm just going to go for an eerie impulse in this slot. And just drop your, drop your special attack. If it ends up withdrawing, that's fine. Nice little withdrawal. He's going to go into Oak Prime here. Oh, this is still a solid match. We have this thing burned, which is good news. Eerie Impulse flies. We're going to make you minus two. We're still looking for this win here. Such a solid battle. You could be going for Draco Beauty here, which is kind of scary. Water Spout still chunking up decent damage here. He's going to end up going for that Draco Meteor. Can you soak this? You still died. Please don't tell me that was a crit. It wasn't a crit. You're just surviving. So, yeah, that's pretty much match, though. That is pretty much the match. Pretty much the match. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks to lose like that. But I think that we, we were probably losing this regardless. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. We could just constantly ear impulse and saying, like, Wild Bolt Storm, what are you really going to do here? Nothing, right? <laughs> like, it's not very effective on everybody. And you can't even hit Groudon. So, yeah, this is game. This is game. You can't even hit Groudon. Unless Groudon, for some reason, terrestrializes. I don't think they used Terra yet. Yeah, nope, they did. They did use Terra on Shen Pao. But Ivy Culture gonna fire, doing ridiculous amount of damage. And that wasn't even a crit. You are burned, and that's just doing that much damage. Hurts the soul, and then they dodge the Wobble Storm. It's over. It's over. We can't win it anyway. Like I said, we can't hit the ground on. But GG's to our opponent. Gengar absolutely fire in the first match. Did really well, picking up some big time damage, picking up a burn. We just didn't bring the right Pokemon here. Moving on to our second match, and we're going up against a Zacian team here in match number two. They also have Gargle Knackle. They're rocking out with Rillaboom, Raging Bolt, Pelipper, and Entei. So their only way of weather control is going to be Pelipper. We might as well lead our Kyogre, right? I feel like Kyogre could be great here. Kyogre, Gengar? That's not bad. They could go into Zacian if they do. I could burn it with Gengar, which isn't a bad play. I actually kind of like that. Or I could go into a bit more speed control with our... Thunderous here. But again, I like Kyogre. I like Gengar here. I think that's a pretty solid lead for us. If they want to lead Rillaboom, we can always just terrestrialize our Kyogre and go into Dragon Typing, which is solid. And then in the back end, go Incineroar and maybe Rillaboom of our own? I need a way of taking out Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt was a problem last game. Now, could you be pretty good up against Raging Bolt? You got Ice Spinner, you got Y Guard, you got Body Press. That's not bad. I kind of like your typing all around. And you know what? I am going to rock into you. Do I need Rollaboom? No, I don't need Rollaboom. Do we need Terrain Control? No, we don't need that. So I'm going to go Avalon here. I'm going to go Avalon. Considering Raging Bolt gave us a big time problem in the last match, I think having Avalon could actually help us out with that situation. We'll see, because Thunderclap looks like it's going to be a little bit of an issue. Let's figure it out. Let's try to get after it. So we got Avalon in the back end. We got Gengar, Kai Ogre coming out here for the lead. And they're going to lead Rillaboom and Gargonaco. So Gargonaco is going to look to kind of boost his defense here. Um... I think going into Sludge Bomb into Rollboom and maybe just Terrestrializing Kyogre here is in our best interest. Or I could just protect Kyogre and play this one smart. Yeah, I'm just going to protect Kyogre and then go for Sludge Bomb. Play this one rather smart, so let's do that. Sludge Bomb into a Protect, and we're going to see a Terror type pop out here early from Rollboom. Probably Fire. No, it's going to be Gargonacle. We don't mind that. We don't mind a Ghost Gargi. We don't mind a Ghost Gargi because I could just Shadow Ball that if I wanted to. Ghost Gargle. Or what? Kinda weird. So we end up playing the protect card here. He's gonna end up attacking me, which is scary. Sludge Bomb does nice half damage. And he's gonna U-turn pivot, which is okay. Nothing crazy. So wow, I could have dropped a water spell there. So he reads the protect. He reads the protect rather well and leaves my Kyogre in the field. That's fine. No big deal. Are you going for Iron Defense? That's the real question, because you're going to go into Zacian here. Not a big deal. I mean, I could tear a Water Spout if I want to, but I don't think we have to Terrestrialize. I think we're going for Assault here. Time for Heart Swap Gengar? Maybe just Hydro Pump this slot? What could Zacian do? Play Rough? Behemoth Blade. I think we go in the Hydra Pump here, and then we just hard swap into Incineroar. Just get off Intimidate. Keep her Gengar. Gengar gonna be nice up against that, that Rillaboom. It's a nice little hard swap here early on here. Gonna be able to Intimidate two physical attackers. I mean, Dragonacle's not really here for the physical attacking part. It's really just here to kind of just do its thing with Salt Cures and stuff. And we're going to be able to soak up this Behemoth Blade no problem. 
Elijah Pump does connect, which is gorgeous. How much damage are we doing here? Almost enough. And he's going to be able to get off Assault here. So Assault here, looking rather annoying. Um, he might just protect Zassian this turn. But if I can get rid of Zassian for my Kyogre, that could be good. I could hard swap if I want to. Assault here is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Now, if I change my typing here, that might be my play. If I change my typing, does that kind of help us out with Salt here? I feel like it could. I feel like it should. You know, we're going to change our typing. We're going to go for Water Spout here. Do I want to change my typing or do I want to save this? I think we're fine doing this. And instead of going for Fake Out, we're just going to go for Knockoff in this slot. Because you could just protect Zassian, let's be honest here. Alright. So we'll hit this terror button. I think I'm almost positive that if I change typing, Salt Cure effect kind of will... It will go away from 1 4th to 1 8th. So, that could be good for us. And yeah, there's Protect on Zassian. So great call on our end just to attack straight up. I could have went into Hydra Pump into this Gargonacle slot, but I just feel like Water Spout's still doing a good amount of damage. So we're going to send it here. We are going to send it. Look at that. That's great damage. I think Knockoff should be able to pick up KO. Go ahead. Finish this thing off. Let's go. Okay, so that's a big time KO for us. We got Zassian low HP. Salt here still chipping up on us. We might want to hard swap our Kyogre and save later. Especially with this Dragon Terra. But let's see. Let's see how much damage this is doing. Let's see how much damage Salt here is doing. Maybe the Grass Turing can kind of just like negate it, right? And Mind Center, we're getting back some mean HP. Some mean HP. So yeah, it is negating it. Awesome. Cool. We like that. We like that. So good Terra on our end. We don't want to take too much damage to Salt here. And let's see who they throw out here. They're going to go into Rage Bolt. Now, Rage Bolt was a Pokemon that I was scared of the most. Which is why we brought Avalok. Which is why we brought Avalok. So from here, honestly, just trying to get rid of this Zassian is probably in our best interest. Going for Flare, which should still be able to KO. So I'm, I'm thinking of just doubling down in the slot. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. It is scary because you could go for Sacred Sword. That's fine. That's fine. You end up just playing rough. And I thought you were going to go Draco Meteor into Kyogre and Sacred Sword into Incineroar. This isn't too bad here. You're just going to go for a Thunderbolt. Not that big of a deal unless you get a Paralyze here. And Flare Butt should be able to finish you off. Cool. So I get rid of Zacian. Got Raging Bolt on the field. Um... Do you think they bring out Rillaboom? I still have Gengar. I do still have Gengar, which is good news for us. I do still have Gengar. Now, do I bring out Avalog? I think hard swapping Incineroar for Avalog would be a better play. And maybe protecting Gengar and putting us back up to high enough HP to get Focus Ash back is in our best interest. I really want Focus Ash. I really want Focus Ash. So I'm just going to protect Gengar. I'm going to hard swap an Avalok here. I got leftovers. There's Grassy's Rain out on the field. Hmm. Zacian's gone. Um. Ah, oh man. Rage of Bolt's just been a problem for us all day. All day today, Rage of Bolt's getting the best of us. And that's where I feel like this team really struck us. It's Raging Bolt. Raging B, dude. Just gets after it. So I end up protecting. He ends up faking out this slot, which is totally fine. And are you doubling down in the slot? Please go after Gengar here. Thank you. All right. So we don't really... That turn's not bad. So I was going to say, that turn's terrible if they end up just doubling down to Avalog. But I mean, rain's stopping. Uh, we have Ice typing on our Avalog. We got Focus Ash back, which is great news for us. We're hoping Sludge Bomb can KO. I might double down and roll boom. Hmm. What's the play here? I could double down to Gengar. Actually, they can't really do it anymore. I was going to say, they could go Grass Guide into Gengar. And Thunderclap. But I think we just go Ice Spinner and we go... They can't... They cancel battle. What is going on? I'll take that win all day. That last match really had me thinking. I was thinking left and right, trying to figure out how to play that certain situation. And honestly, we were playing pretty good. I don't know why our opponent canceled the match. I still feel like they had a shot. But in my opinion, we were going to win that match. We had the upper hand in that one. But hey, GG to our opponent. We are now sitting 1-1, one one, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team. This one's looking like it's kind of getting tough. Because honestly, I'm not going to sit here and lie. 
my master rank's getting pretty high, and that's kind of impressive using all these off meta teams. We're up to the top 2,000 right now, and I believe this opponent's 1,500, so going up against strong meta teams as of lately, trying to grab some wins for you guys. But uh, we are one-on-one, -on -one, which is great news. I could go Gengar again here. I am scared of Shadow Rider Calyx. I could go into my wide card user of Avalog. That could be good news for us, but I think leading Incineroar could also be good news for us. God, they have Raging Bolt again and Rollaboom. Just brutal out here. It is so brutal. I could go here and here. Which I think is going to be my best interest. Then go Kai, Ogre, and Gengar. As much as I want to have this wide guard user, I think we're fine with this squad right here. Because I love Incineroar typing up against Shadow Rider Calyx and then being able to eerie impulse a lot of these special attackers. Could be really good for us. We're just going for Wild Bolt Storm. That's not a bad idea either. But let's see who they end up leading. I feel like it's got to be Tornadus and Shadow Rider Calyx. I feel like it's gotta be that way, but this match is not looking good for us. That's what kind of sucks about using off meta teams and getting higher up in the master tier. It's like, dude, you're always versing some good teams that really just counter you right off the rip, and it's just kind of hard. You just start in a hole, and it's tougher to win matches for you guys. So, hopefully, you guys are still enjoying today's video, even if we don't grab ourselves a winning record. We are still one and one, which we could grab ourselves a winning record, but of course, they bring Raging Bolt. I just, Raging Bolt is just so annoying. I am gonna eerie impulse Raging Bolt. And this Urshfu, what are we going to do for this thing? Are we going to harass lives? That might have to be my play. I mean, faking it out might be our first step. We have Ghost Terror, which is eh. It's okay. Eh. It's all right. We're just going to fake him out, turn one. So we'll go for Fake Out. We will go for Eerie Impulse here. Could go for Fake Out Wobble Storm, but I think he might detect, so I'd rather just go for Eerie Impulse this turn. Yep, there it is. So nice little Protect out here. And don't be a double Protect. It's a double protect. Oh man, nothing to hate more than a ye old double protect. Ye old double protect really sucks. So he sees us going for eerie impulse. And now when I get up in these higher ranks, I feel like I have to read my opponent more because I feel like they're going to be playing better. So they see our eerie impulse. I think they swap into a physical attacker at this point, right? I think they swap either into Rillaboom or like Incineroar. They might not even have Tornado. So I think going into maybe like a Terra here. Or just hard swapping into like. Mm, really hard swapping into any of these guys. Not good for us. I really think we just go into a Terra knockoff. Just to deal some damage into you. And then we just go for a Wild Bolt Storm at this point. That's my play. I think you're going to swap Raging Bolt. You don't swap Raging Bolt. Alright. But Terra is going to help us out from certain strikes. It should help us survive certain strikes instead of just dying out to it and we'll see how this one plays because i'm hoping while the combination of wobble storm and knockoff could pick up a ko we'll see wobble storm is going to outspeed actually and that's going to be some nice damage again knockoff should be able to help us out here and hopefully pick up a ko you're going go for certain strikes into this slot oh no you're dying aren't you you're perfectly dying actually you might be able to survive here on low hp with a low roll we do survive all right cool that works, especially out speeding here. He's going to go for Dragon Pulse and double down into the slot. So I could have just Eerie Impulse. But instead, I pick up a KO on through Urshifu. Which is good news, but it's bad news because Rage Bolt has been giving us a problem all day today. And I don't really know how to play this thing. No idea. Now I don't have Terra for Kyogre. Um, Gengar could fly out here, which is definitely in their best interest to go into Gengar. And start attacking this Rage Bolt. Even though this thing's bulky, it probably has Vest as well. It probably has the vest. And my Gengar's floating. <laughs> oh my god, yo, that's hilarious. <laughs> Gengar's floating out here, and it's looking like it's a game. Because now I just have two ghost types next to Calyrex. Oh, that was a bad idea. Real bad idea. Just bad plays from us at this point. Alright, so it looks like we lose this one. He's going to be able to pick up a double KO. He could probably just thunderclap me here. As much as I want to go after Rage Bone, I feel like I have to go after you. But at least we get to see floating Gengar. You really just protected Calyrex here? Why would you do that? Why would you protect Calyrex here? I mean, it worked, but why would you? I feel like attacking is just perfect. You win the game here. If you just thunderclapped and attacked Gengar. But yeah, this one's over. GG sort of So, rough set of matches today. At least we got to use Gengar a little bit here. We got to disable Thunderbolt. But yeah, this is just, it's just not good. No good for us today. No good for us. So I fight it out. Nah, 
Yeah, it's over. GG to our opponent. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a 1-2 losing record, which we could have done better here and grabbed you guys at least a winning record, but this Gengar squad, it was okay. I kind of just used it to use Gengar, but we went up against a bunch of strong teams that really just counter us, especially Raging Bull. Of course, my luck reversed Raging Bull three times when this team pretty much has no counters to him, but still, again, had a lot of fun using it, and I'm glad we got to showcase Gengar a little bit on the channel. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.